Hi guys and welcome back to Alan Wake 2. We played through the entire game already and I know that there is something called Final Draft. I'm not quite sure what it is about, but today we are going to play the expansions because the Night Springs expansion came out. So let's see how it goes. Let me just take it away from the screen. Thank you. Oh, I have not played that game for a long time. Am I late to the party? I am, but I don't really care. I spent so much time playing Horizon Forbidden West that I didn't even remember that this expansion should come out. And now they are here, so it's a double of surprise for me. Let's load it. The dictionary definition of the word is an enthusiast, a fervent devotee, an abbreviation of fanatic. What comes across to an outsider as a dangerous obsession or even madness is something entirely different from the point of view of the fan herself. To be a fan is a joyous existence, one filled with the happiness that stems from knowing with utter clarity the purpose of your life. But what if that purpose could be more still? If you could be lifted out of the flock as your idol's chosen one, the only one who could decipher his secret messages. <laughs> what lengths would you go to save the object of your obsession in Night Springs? Tonight's cult classic episode, number one fan. Life's a funny thing. You spend all your time wishing and hoping and dreaming for something, and then, bam! Destiny shows up at your door like a mailman with a package you were pretty sure got lost because you ordered it like six months ago. <sighs> but <laughs> that's okay. When your destiny has eyes like sunsets and a beard like mahogany-colored velvet, you don't really mind how it arrives. But my day didn't start off with all that excitement. It began like any other day did for this waitress slash protector of the town of Night Springs. As always, Night's Diner was the hottest spot in town, so there was plenty of work to do. Jesus, that game is gorgeous. I already forgot how beautiful it is. <laughs> Look who it is! Hi, everyone! Could I get another cup of that delicious special brew that only you know how to make? Of course. Who else wants a top up? Me! Right here, please. One for me, please, and thank you! Optional. Dispense really good advice. I. <laughs> You were first lady. Here's your coffee. How do you juggle running this diner, your bird sanctuary, and that amazing fan site for the writer you love so much? I work extremely hard, but also I'm naturally talented. And modest. Well, heck, no wonder us regular folks can't keep up. I'll never be as successful as you. 
Comparing yourself to me won't help. You gotta find what you want to do and do it. I believe in you. Wow. You just changed my entire way of looking at the world. <laughs> Thank you. No problem. That's a very nice dream she's having. Here you go. A person of your genius and grace is wasted serving coffee to us regular Joes and Joannes. Oh, I don't mind. Hmm? You don't want any advice? Okay. Who else wants some coffee? You, sir? Why are you here? Why are you not drinking anything? You're just sitting here at the table. I come here three times a day. Jesus Christ, look out for your blood pressure. Another cup. I would kill to have a passion like you do for that writer of yours. You two are destined for each other. <laughs> we sure are. You want some coffee? Hot coffee. I heard your fan site for that writer was named best fan site in the world. Congratulations! Thanks. It wasn't easy. That's everyone's coffee. Better put this pot back. But I only gave one advice. Why there's like... Should I give more advice to people? But no one wanted anything. They just wanted coffee. <sighs> Not that perfect dream after all. I loved being the very successful owner and operator of the county's most popular diner. But that was nothing compared to my grease fire of passion for the writer and his sheer literary talent. And flowing hair and lips like buttery pie crust. Pie! I need to clear the empty pie plates from the tables! Shucks! Okay, I noticed some tearing. So let me be right back with some correct settings. And I'm back with correct settings, hopefully. No more tearing. Okay, I'm back again. Plates. My date last night was a total bust. You're the expert on romance. Any advice? Yes. But first, tell me everything. Long story short, she told me I dressed like a divorced gym teacher. But it's what's inside that matters, right? Well, you have to make an effort when you're trying to basically be a proper, properly looking human being. But, yeah. Personality is also that this matters. I will go with some effort. You still have to put in some effort. If you don't have a jacket with elbow patches, buy one. Elbow patches? Oh, got it. Thanks a million. <laughs> don't mention it. So then you can re look not only like a retired gym teacher, but like a retired teacher. Just like that. Is Knott Steiner going to enter the statewide pie competition this year? Of course! We're gonna make this our 20th win in a row! No more advice? You don't want to know anything? You don't have any questions? About life? I saw in the news that you saved every single kitten from that bear attack. Oh my god, that's Amazing. so cute. Thanks! Those yoga lessons really paid off. The writer lives just outside town in that mansion of his. Why don't you go talk to him? <laughs> oh, we have our own ways of talking. That sounded creepy. Or at least concerning. Back to the service window. Yes. Can I borrow you? What can I get you? Oh. <laughs> oh. I need a good book recommendation. After all, you're the town's literature buff. Oh, 
You have got to read the newest book in the writer's crime trilogy. For I'll real, OG. From the back. Ooh, okay. How do I... Oh. She does that with the giggle. Okay, how am I doing anything in this game? Okay, those are goals and items. Cool. I have any items? I have nothing. But I will have a book. Not from the toilet. No time for that. I've got customers waiting. But get the novel from the storage. Where is storage? Are you storage? No, no. This is the toilet. Jesus, first 15 minutes in the game and I am already lost. Oh, maybe your storage. Yes. That your man storage. needed his literature. I had plenty of copies in the back. He better not crease any pages. Beat Poetry Night at Night's Diner. Night's Diner presents Beat Poetry Night for the literary advancement of Night Springs every Friday at 8 p.m. Employee of the Decade Award, in recognition of basically being the best at like everything, <laughs> presented to everyone's favorite waitress. Don't touch. Are you the book? Two can do it. Thank you so much for taking my six macas. I know you have your hands full with all the other sick birds at your bird sanctuary, but if anyone can find a cure for their rare bird, lupus is you. You for the rare bird lupus. Oh, okay, Jesus. Yours truly, a young girl who wants to be you someday. <laughs> the only thing that hurts more than love is loving again. Love will hurt. By American's best-selling writer. It's me, your favorite writer, whose voice you would recognize in your sleep. I'm in danger. Please, my number one fan. You're the only one who can save me. Oh, oh my gosh. Don't worry. I'm on my way. My beloved writer was in terrible danger, and I had to rescue him. The stakes had never been higher. Luckily, I kept all my accessories in the diner's kitchen. If she's gonna pick up shotgun and stuff like that from... the kitchen... That's gonna be hilarious. Death comes for everyone. That doesn't mean it's painless. Death will hurt. By American best-selling writer. A man's life is ripped away. He's out to get justice. And the whole city will hurt by America's best selling writer. Everything is will hurt. Okay, so I am not giving the book to the customer then, right? Shame. That's one gonna be one unhappy guy. I would love to go to a diner like that. I've never been to an American diner. It's... I think like I'm missing a lot. And this is burning, there is no cooks here. Okay. My accessories. Whoa, Everything okay, okay. To claim victory in the battle for love. For love? Holy shit. <laughs> Okay. Bolt action hunting rifle with a gorgeous walnut stock. Deadly. And looks good doing it. <laughs> Just like me. My trusty 12 gauge. Fully automatic. Extreme circumstances call for extreme shotguns. I was finally ready for a night out on the town. With danger. There was no time to waste. This shotgun. The shortcut through the boatyard was the fastest way to my rider's mansion in the woods outside town. <laughs> Whoa, you go get him. Go get him, girl. The boatyard is this way. You better hurry. Go through the boatyard. It's the shortest route. Boatyard. This is the boatyard. So why it's what was why it was, was telling me that it's from mind. left? My chance to save the writer and make him realize how much he needed me. And if that's not love, 
I don't know what is. We'll run the diner while you're gone. <laughs> it will be way worse at it. One waitress plus one writer forever. Leaving my old life behind, like a body left to sink in a lake so no one finds it. Nothing would get between me and my future with the writer. Arden locked door. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ. I did not expect that it's gonna go this way. Are there any secrets in the DLC? I don't think so, but might be worth checking. There's quite a lot of secrets and other stuff hidden in the main game, so maybe. Hi. Who are you? And why do you look like a slightly less handsome version of my writer. Oh, don't you ever compare me to that worthless hack. Sure, I may be his wild and rebellious estranged twin brother, but we can't all be perfect. Is this the scratch? I had no idea he had a brother. To think there were two of him all this time. After today, there won't be. No more writer, no more books, no more living in his shadow. Yeah. But you're his brother! I'm sure you two can talk it out and realize you have so much in common and after you change, you can move in together. And I'll come over with popcorn for movie nights! He had his chance for popcorn and movie nights, but he wanted to keep everything for himself. Too bad. You know what they say? If you can't join him, beat him. What did you do to him? I locked Mr. Fancy Pants up somewhere you'll never find him. You won't get away with this! I'll stop you! Babe, I got an army of people that hate <laughs> that hack almost as much as I do. They're ready to die if it stops him from writing another crappy book. What do you got? Well, shotgun is stronger than love. I have a shotgun! Well, I got a... Wait, is that... That's a real shotgun? Okay, I admit that's a... <laughs> I didn't expect that. <clears throat> but it doesn't matter. You can't stop all of us. Only a monster what the fuck? could be blind to the poignancy of my writer's book. Jesus Christ! <laughs> Holy crap, that escalated quickly. Holy crap, what was this? I don't remember how it was. How I supposed to be playing this game. Fuck you, hard. RT, heal. Okay, okay. This is the dodge. Okay. Why are you not shooting? Jesus, you can't do that to people. Give me that. Perfect. You are all being very rude. Hey, how done it is. Whoa, they are tough. They are tough. Oopsies. Can't forget the bullets. Straight on him. Perfect. Yes! <laughs> 
fully automated shotgun. This is something that... Where am I getting bullets from? This guy is almost invisible and he was still standing. <sighs> that was unexpected. And also extremely fun. I wouldn't I was not expecting this to come out from this DLC. Holy crap. Ooh, okay, more stuff in there. My writer's jerky twin had him locked up somewhere. A sweet, helpless prince locked in a tower. But this man in shining armor okay, was oh, on her way. Cool, cool. One of those haters had made a hole in the fence for me. <laughs> it's the complete opposite. No horror, no nothing. Just pure on murder. <laughs> I'm getting so much stuff. I'm gonna heal because I will be over encumbered at some point, I <laughs> think. Reload? Okay, five bullets in this one. Fully automated shotgun is the way to go. had left tracks in the mud. I recognized the tread pattern immediately, thanks to my <laughs> famously keen perception. Ghost the rider. The tracks would lead me right to my rider and his kidnapper. I felt like the detective from my writer's books, solving the case with my wits. All I needed now was an unlimited supply of black coffee and crippling emotional trauma caused by the untimely death of my spouse. That took a dark turn. Okay, full on ammo. 346 shotgun shells. More haters. Bring it on. <laughs> I can love this game. My spinach this morning, so don't mess with me. This is really a safe point, safe house. I can't even take more medicine with me. So let's use one. Cool, okay. No, no safe houses. Double tap. Always double tap. <laughs> it almost reminds me. You can really feel that Remedy made Max Payne. <laughs> Shooters are also in their blood. Why hadn't my writer ever told me he had a semi-evil twin brother? <sighs> he must be waiting until our third or fourth date, surrounded by candles, so he could reveal this vulnerable chapter from the dramatic story of his emotionally troubled past. <sighs> 
that man has more layers than a croissant. Holy shit, that's a lot of layers. Okay, let's get back. Trying to record when also quite a lot of is happening in the background, so I have to pause the game quite a while. Quite often, not quite a while, quite often. So hopefully you will I will be excused. Or you will forgive me for that. What are you? I couldn't let these monsters continue to plague my dear writer with their negativity. I would treat them the same way I treat trolls on my fan site, but this time I was banning them from life. <laughs> Jesus, I love her. All the tears of all the angels in heaven were falling over this city. She wore the rain like a funeral shroud. She was in sad estate, the city of mine. But she was still mine, the filthy prison I called home. I was here for a reason, Joe Bullets Capon. He was inside, drinking champagne and throwing around his dirty money while I stood in the rain smoking a soggy cigarette. But that didn't matter. The only thing that mattered was I knew Bullets had a bad night coming his way and he had no clue. He made me wait for it though. My pack of cigarettes was long gone by the time Bullets staggered out of the back door. I detached myself from the shadows, stepped up right beside that pathetic excuse of a man. Long time Joe. Bullets looked up. His booze so grim twisted in something less friendly. Yeah! He reached for the pistol, pistol under his jacket. A six shooter with slugs, big as my cigarette stubs. I'd done my homework. He barely had the piece out of his holster before I was on him. I wrestled out from his hands, tossed it behind the dumpster. Bullets didn't like that. Gave me one right into the gut. Wind rushed out my lungs like a soul leaving my body. Though my wheezing, I could... Through my wheezing, I could make out the lap of boots against water. Bullets was legging it. Had to get after him. Couldn't lose him. Not when I was so close. He had info I needed. The address of the last stop for his train called Revenge. So I sucked in, sucked in whatever air I could and took off after him. Through the twist twisting maze of alleyways. Two rats, but only one cheese. I pulled out my revolver. I was playing for keeps. Don't make this hard, Joe. I caught up to him as he was dropping down to the other side of a chain link fence. He sneered, teeth like rows of grey tombstones. He thought he was escaping, he thought he was safe. My body slumped against the fence like a bird against a window. I clutched the thin metal, scrambled over it, the jagged ends of the wire the jagged ends of the wire ripping through the sleeves of my leather coat and biting into skin. The pain was welcome. No, come on, I wasn't done reading it. I dropped down in the alley and ran like a panther, at, bird, at every blind corner I expected a trash can lit to the face. None came. Maybe bullets, didn't, maybe bu bullets hadn't liked what he saw in my eyes as I climbed the feather fence. I bet he wasn't smiling now. Then I had him. A trapped rat trying and failing to wrench a locked door off its hinges. I leveled my gun at him. You know what I want, Joe. Bullets let... The name of Bullets makes my brain hurt. Bullets let go of the door handle, hands up as they go, beseeching a higher power not to cast him down. Come on, man. Ain't you gonna bring your wife back? Can't hurt to try. Talk. Yeah, yeah, sure thing, sure. Bullets launched for his angle. A crack of lightning from my hand and he was down in the gutter, clutching his belly. I walked over, calm as a snow. I stood over him, watched his putrid blood mingle with the rivers of rainwater. You talk. I can... I call an ambulance. His words were having a hard time getting through the pain. You're insane, man. Insane! I raised my gun level with his eyes. Try again. Okay, okay. You want the big man, yeah? I know where you can find him. Blood pounded in my ears like war drums. All the killing, the sleepless nights, the booze, the countless cigarettes I smoked while ghosts swirled around me. It was all for this. The drums got louder. Bullets caught his breath, straining against the pain, then he spilled his guts. My number one fan, if you don't make it, then I just want you to know that... No, I can't say it. Curse my crippling, sensitive, artistic nature. I left the alley. Told the waiter at the, on the curb that the guy had been shot. Didn't care what he did with that information. I had what I needed. <laughs> okay. I wonder... Because we met her in the, the main game, and... 
she was also a little bit odd then, so I was wondering. I wonder if this is. tracks ended at a cabin. Was my writer inside? Hello. Isn't anyone gonna rescue this poor little writer? Hello. Is anybody there? I'm just a frail writer, and I require aid. <gasps> He's inside. I wonder if she was also like seeing. If, if this is just her dream or fantasy or whatever, or she actually lives in that world. Like, she sees everything like that. It's very curious. Are you in there? I'm gonna look through the windows first. Because traps. Okay, so let's use the back door. The way they wanted me to use it from the start. Or maybe that was the back, the back door. Eh, we'll never know. Jesus Christ. It's gonna be I'm mayhem. Here. Joy! We can finally be together and sit through big poetry readings and drink $18 cocktails and have high tea with the queen. Wait a minute. My writer only drinks coffee. Two sugars, no milk. I keep all the mugs. Okay. <laughs> no more tricks. I'll be waiting upstairs. Okay. Life is not unlike a highway. Oh, please. Masses don't cry, they sweat. Oh my god. What <laughs> what is this motivational poster? Running with wolves seems like a dangerous hobby. Becoming the alpha. Everything you need to know to lead your wolf pack like a true alpha. TJ Wolf. Shame. Nothing on the TV. Okay. Where are you? I was never upstairs. I lied when I said there were no more tricks. Ooh, you're starting to pee me off, mister. Where is my writer? I'm just having a little fun. Let's chat down at the beach. It's just out the back. First, he kidnaps my writer. Then he calls him a tea drinker? <laughs> I am... He had crossed the line. I am recording I it. I was going to go to that beach and give this jerk the scolding of a lifetime. I am recording this while I'm drinking a tea. And I am... F I feel personally attacked. <laughs> Brothers. The moon can only shine when the sun is gone. The night can only come when the day is done. Can the sea ever meet the ocean? Okay. It's so dark. The twin said he was down at the beach. So where is my beloved writer? Torture ideas for Huck. Brother. Car battery. Solid potential. Pulling fi fingernails. Too messy. The bell. Where do I get a bell? Bland spoon. Nice and simple. Dismantle typewriters. A plus psychological damage. <laughs> Gasoline and fire. Fire might burn my cabin down. Maybe overcomplicating this? Yeah, just punch him. And keep on punching him until he cries. The beach. Not this beach. This beach. Okay, okay. I will go towards this beach. Can I see him from here somewhere? Nope. I have to get down to that beach and get my rider back. Can I, hmm. Can I shoot this guy? Uh. 
Oh, I, I cannot pull the trigger. Hey, me hey. and my bike were just enjoying the view. <laughs> Where is my rider? What do you even see in that crybaby? He's boring. He dresses like a nerd. Hush your mouth! He is a stylish intellectual who is in touch with his feelings. You're starting to cramp my style, babe. And I'm not telling you where he is. You are going to tell me where he is or else. Or else what, babe? I am holding a shotgun. You asked for it. You are rude. You have no manners. Your too cool to care attitude is attractive initially, but drives people away after they realize you're emotionally incapable of letting your walls down to reveal that you are a vulnerable human being just like everybody else. You are trying way too hard with that outfit. You no, stop. I don't like being seen. <laughs> Listen, I never had your precious writer. I was just keeping you distracted while my army of haters storms this mansion. Now the love of your life is doomed. Doomed! <laughs> oh yeah. Oh my god. Chunky kitten wheels or heels? The music. The music, the visuals, the story. Fucking love everything. Every single second of this video. Of this video game. Haha. <laughs> I thought he was dead. Where is my beautiful lovers? Lover writer man. my gun up I love that if if because she's saying hold up and stuff like that I would love if that was like a power up or something that you can basically say oh hold up I need to reload my gun and the entire combat just stops the guys are like oh sorry we are just need to let you reload The flesh peeling off of their corpses, like, Jesus, the details in that game. Cool. Anything? Perfect. Just what I needed. I knew you, my number one fan, would <laughs> never fall victim to my twisted brother's lies. His hatred for me is as inexplicable as the sunrise. And just as fiery. But I knew your heart would never waver. You're the only one who can save me. I believe in you. She is tripping her balls. We were kindred spirits. We fit together like a bicycle chain and that spiky wheel thing the chain fits into. <laughs> we were connected by love and destiny. He was meant to be mine, always and forever. There was no time to lose. 
I was the only one who could save the writer and the very soul of literature from these evil haters. The fate of all art rested on my shoulders. And his mansion is pink. Never been higher. If I have to stop you myself, I will. Unlike him, I'm not afraid to get my hands dirty. Oh! Okay. That is an unexpected turn of events. You're coming my way. Here, take the shotgun. Oh! I should have known, but that won't stop. I didn't want you to see the sign of the I guess he. They are so slow, I don't know how to how to avoid them. Oh my god, I'm gonna die! Jesus, that's hard! It was so chill up until this point. Where the fuck is he? Give me shotgun. Woo. Barely. Fuck is he? So I killed him, and now I need to talk to him. Fuck that guy. Where is he? No. Let me first gather some supplies, please. I'm not going to kill you. You're my darling writer's brother. You really do love him, huh? I guess I never even had a chance. I was just jealous of his talent, his money, his velvety hair, <laughs> but mostly that he's got the love of somebody as amazing as you. Oh, you silly werewolf. <laughs> you could have all those things too. You just need to stop wanting to be him and start wanting to be you. Your words have shown me that it wasn't my brother I hated. It was myself. Oh, what have I done? Those haters will tear him apart and it's all my fault. I don't Please, see any haters. Go save him. Oh, I intend to. 
reach the top floor of the mansion. Oh, okay, so now we are getting into like a doom territory. Yes. Someone order a reckoning? <laughs> Where are they? Jesus Christ. Perfect orderlies. Oh, you're big ones. Okay. We went for the switch. For the trade, Oopsies. not for the switch. Can't forget the bullets. Oh. For contributions to arts and artistry across the globe, the recipient is hereby recognized as a champion of literature, who embodied all the spiritual and physical qualities valid in the pursuit of the art of writing, presented by the Society of High Art. Oh, there's something here as well. Get well soon card. Dearest brother, news reached me that your journey across Europe has taken a turn for the worse. I was utterly and completely devastated to hear you have been afflicted with a serious cause of lycanthropy while riding your motorcycle through the Nordics. I know you have I know you haven't spoken in years. We haven't spoken in years, but please know that my thoughts are always with you, my dear mo monozygotic sibling. Please contact me upon your return to America. Until then, I hope this card finds you well on your way to the speedy recovery. Dearest brother, your brother. Dearest regards, your brother. P.S. Due to your roadbound lifestyle, I do not know where to send this card. I have written this message as a symbol of my fraternal love, and I shall leave it upon my mantle in the hopes that one day you shall read it. Well, he maybe. I didn't kill him, right? So, yeah, there's still a chance. Okay, let's look around a little bit more. More bullets. Kitchen, cool. Secrets, Easter eggs. Stuff. Nope. Just supplies. Supplies everywhere. Okay. His books make you feel dumb. Sounds like you problem. Alive. So bad and cheesy. Woo! Step back, sir. Step back. And stay down. That writer isn't going to kiss himself. I mean, save himself. <laughs> kiss as well. Hard buried regimen twice a week. Wash thoroughly with cold water. Gently pat dry with high thread canned towel. Brush three times with honeycomb. Bought locally at the farmer's market. Apply shampoo to dry hair. Rinse with cold water. Gently pat dry with the thread count high thread count towel. Condition often. General rules. Never wear hats. Once a month, rub the three mixed eggs. Three mixed eggs? Bought locally at the farmer's market into damp hair, scalp and beard. Avoid chlorine, heat and, ex and inexperienced barbers. 
ideas for the next book. Insensitive murder. Got time to admire my writer's taste and decor. Inventive murder weapons, stapler, lawn gnome, swordfish, philosophy. I would like to see someone murdered with philosophy. Escalate the crime, plunge the depths of humanity darkness, a murder religion. Hero's motivation, a rival private eye, his wife returns from the dead only to be killed a second time. Too much, not enough. A waitress character who is intelligent, sophisticated and good with weapons, smells like cinnamon and gunpowder. I never shot a gun in my life, so I don't know how gunpowder smells. But the cinnamon is nice. And there he was. After all the fighting, we were finally alone. <laughs> together. <laughs> Just covered in Our blood. love was written in the stars. And so we danced like two spinning planets that would eventually crash into each other in a dazzling display of flames and rocks and other planet stuff. He told me all the sweet things I'd been waiting a lifetime to hear. I saw myself reflected in his eyes. I would always be at his side. To inspire and protect him. <laughs> he needed me, now and forever. After all, I am his number one fan. And now, <coughs> she wakes up with a gasp. A fan and the object of her joy come together against the world trying to keep them apart. A happy ending for some. But his happiness, like beauty, all in the eye of the beholder. Where is the line between fandom and fixation? One can never tell in Night Springs. <laughs> That was fucking amazing. I love this game. I love everything about this game. And it was just pure joy. Mm. I think that this might be copyrighted, so I'm gonna not listen to that. Okay, see you guys in the next episode of The Night Springs.